What's up teachers? It's Nickel here and we're going to look at how ski slope levels apply to our classroom teaching and also to the process of learning. The ski slope model is organized into four different playlists and each of these playlist terms, the green circle, the blue square, the black diamond, and the double black diamond were taken from the way that ski resorts organize the difficulty of their terrain. If you're skiing or snowboarding, you want to know what to expect on the run that you're about to go down as you descend to the base of the mountain. If you don't have very many skills, then you're going to want to make sure that you have a safe route that you can take. Whereas if you're an expert, you're going to want to make sure that you can have a good time as well. Now, I've been snowboarding since I was in middle school. And I've had a lot of time to gain a lot of skills over time because of the way that ski resorts are organized. Now, you and I could actually go skiing together regardless of the differences in our ability or how similar our abilities may be. We would want to go to the same resort and have a good day. We would want to walk away with a smile on our face. That'll be our goal for today. In order to achieve that, we're going to take the same chairlift to the top. And even though we take the same chairlift to the top, once we get to the top, we're each going to have our own choice of where we want to descend. We're going to look for the terrain that best suits our skills. Now, if you're a beginner, you're going to want to look for the green circle runs. The green circle runs are ones that kind of snake their way down the mountain. They have a very gentle slope, and there's no unexpected obstacles. There's even fences kind of along the edges so that if you were to lose control, you'd at least be slowed down by the fence before you plummeted down the cliff, or hopefully that would be prevented. There's not going to be any moguls. There's not going to be any trees in your way. It's going to have nice, gentle, wide turns and it's going to be a groomed run. Now, on these runs is where you're going to learn how to stop and how to turn and how to really have control over your skis or your snowboard. So if we were to look at a green circle slope, if I'm going to draw a line over here, we're going to use this as kind of an area to record the slope angle of the different ski runs. So there's our green circle. If you have some beginner skills, then you might be looking to actually step your game up a little bit. If you are, then you're going to shoot for the blue square types of runs. Now, blue square runs are for intermediates, people who know how to turn a little bit. That You've got the turns down and you can uh, control your speed and you're, you're able to stop and have control. So these blue square runs are ones that go more directly down the mountain. They're definitely a steeper slope. There might be a few unexpected obstacles, like there might be some rolling hills, where the slope changes, there might be some widely spaced trees where you have to navigate around those. And in this area, you're going to have to really use steady turns and you're going to have to be able to have really solid stopping ability as well. There might be some fences, but there's not going to be many things here to help keep you on the trail. Um, and it's only sometimes groomed. So there might be some areas that are nice and smooth, but some areas might be ungroomed and have more natural obstacles. Once you're able to make it down a blue square run, then you could step your game up further and you could actually shoot for a black diamond run. And the black diamond runs are for experts. This is expert or advanced terrain. Now the black diamond are gonna have much steeper slopes. They might go right along the steepest parts of the mountain. Um, let's try that again. They might go along the steepest parts of the mountain. There might be some moguls that are in the way. There might even be some cliff drops that you have to be able to catch some air and be comfortable with that. There might be some really, really tight trees as well where you have to navigate between those without getting lost and also without falling and sinking into the deep snow. There's not any fences, and these black diamonds are rarely groomed runs. Now, all of these runs are going to take us back to the bottom of our mountain, and hopefully we all get down with a smile on our face. But that's only going to happen if we're able to actually challenge ourselves. Somebody who has green circle abilities that just steps onto a black diamond run may find themselves tumbling and really in pain as they descend that run or at least try to. They'll probably end up having to get a hold of ski patrol or even end up on their butt scooting their way down. And that's because black diamonds require skills that are built on in the green circle and in the blue square runs. So somebody with green circle abilities can't just jump ahead they have to first master the green circle to be able to get onto the blue square runs and then master the blue square runs to get onto the black diamond runs. Now black diamond are the advanced, but there's actually one more level of um, types of terrain on a ski resort, and that is gonna be the double black diamond terrain. Now the double black diamond terrain is the extreme terrain. 
it might be something where you actually have to hike to some other area and you're able to ski or snowboard down some really, really steep terrain. It could even be where you start at the top and you go into a train park where you get air and you're working on your flips and twists. Um, it could even be some area that has a lot of cliffs. And so um, since there's a lot of cliffs, it just means that it's a really risky area for you to have to navigate. So the double black diamond is going to be the extreme terrain. That's going to be where um, you're going to have the most technical terrain and there's going to be a lot of natural obstacles or it's going to be a terrain park. But it's really the place where people go in order to engage in like a really big risk. So let's get back to our slopes over here on the left side. So we've got our green circle and if I were to show the blue square slope, it's going to be a little bit steeper. The black diamond is going to be even steeper than the blue square. And the double black diamond will typically be even more steep, or it's just going to have the unexpected obstacles in there. So as you can see, if you have beginner skills, you're not going to want or feel very comfortable on a really steep slope. So as you build those skills, you get to kind of engage in even more and more steep terrain, which really makes it more and more fun. Again, the goal is that everyone ends up with a smile on their face at the end of the day. If you have advanced skills, then you might be pretty bored if you just end up on the green circle. So again, it's important that students, or at least students of skiing and snowboarding, are able to move from one thing to the next. But speaking of students, let's take a look at how this applies in the classroom. So to begin with, that first playlist is going to be the green circle playlist. And again, this is the beginner area. We want to build the skills here in the green circle. Those skills in the green circle then will be um, the foundation of the skills that the students then will engage in when they're in the intermediate area of your task or your unit in the blue square. Now, in order to enter the black diamond, this is the advanced or the expert area. The students will need the skills that they gained from the blue square and from the green circle in order to really be able to get down the black diamond, just like at the ski resort. The double black diamond then is the opportunity for students to take an extra risk. This is the extreme terrain area. Now, in order to enter the extreme terrain, you must have this prior foundation. The way that I structure this in my classroom is that I tell all students they need to have an advanced understanding of the standards that I'm teaching. This is where I say the grade level expectation is here where I drew this yellow line. Let's call this the grade level expectation. It's my expectation of the student, or it could even be expectation, or it could even be related to the standard. So if a student gets through the black diamond, then they are actually accomplishing the standard or the grade level expectation. A student, though, that does the double black diamond is going above that grade level expectation and taking an extra risk to demonstrate their skills here on the topic. So I hope that you can see how this analogy can be used um, by us in the classroom and how it also relates to the ski resorts and how this combination creates a perfect framework to organize learning in our classrooms. That's all for now. I'll catch you in the next video.